Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to show you the Summit calculator watch. But there is a few problems with it, and one of them is the display is dying. Meaning that the display is on its way out, because it's due to its age. And there's a bit of tin foil on the inside of the circuit board due to corrosion of acid. So we're going to just show you the best I can with what it does hoping it doesn't conk out. This is what the back cover looks like. No model number, no serial or registration. And I'm going to strap it to this and put it with my watch collection. So if you hold fire while I strap it on, I need two hands. Okay, watch is now in place. Now we're going to show you what it can do. If I turn the light off, you won't be able to see the display, but at least you can see what the buttons are. Right. This is the stopwatch function. Seems like it's already started. So that's if you reset it. And this button starts it. This watch doesn't seem to beep for some reason. I don't know why. Press that, it'll show you lap. So it's still going. That's the lap bit. I'm guessing that will turn to an eight. No, it doesn't, so I'm not sure what that does. So that stops it. And that's it going again. Okay, so that's the stopwatch. I'm guessing this is the date or the time that it's asking me to set. Okay, so that's the time. You got your AM. Let's put the light on so you can see it better. That'll be better. Let's switch sides so that the light is facing the top of the display. There we go. That's kind of slightly better. So you can see the little decimal is pointing on Sunday, showing you the day is Sunday for the time, but that's the wrong time. Today is June 29th, 2022, and it's a Wednesday today. Let's see what else it can do. Let's play with the calculator. Find out where the minus is. So the minus is over there. Let's do 
multiplied by bunch of nines, see what it comes up with. Thumbs up with an E. So the E's in the middle, just there. Then you've got your minus here. So the E and the minus are in the middle. Okay, actually, you can see the nines a little better if I put the light on. You just can't see the buttons very well because it's shining on it. Okay, let's go back. So that's how your calculator works. Let's test it, make sure it does work. Let's do 7 times 2 should give you 14. Harder. I don't think it's working. Let's try that again. You've jammed it, that's why. There you go. Right, start over. Seven times two. 14. Yeah, so it's all good. Let's try a bunch of zeros, make sure the display is all good. But again, the more digits are on this thing, the more it starts to fade, which is where the light comes in handy. So again, you've got your stopwatch. Now back to time. Need to figure out what this one is. How do we find the alarm? I'm guessing it would be this one here. Twelve AL. Nothing shows up for the date. Ah, oh, press this one for the date. <laughs> January 1st. See if I can get the bell to come on. So that's where the wee bell is. Press it again, it should flash. Oh, this one doesn't flash. Well, there you have it. Let's press this and see if this kind of sets the...
Just trying to figure out how you set the time on this thing. There's a button up there that says set. Press on that button. The top right one. Anything? No, nothing. Well, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the Summit Calculator Watch. Lisa have been playing around with it for 12 and a half minutes, but there you have it. One last look at the display. This is how it looks. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye for now. And the time, 12.38pm, June 29th, 2022. Here you go.